Hey there, I'm Mitchell with Pixel Bakery, and I'm gonna walk you through the fastest way to start looking and sounding better on an online interview with us. I'm gonna talk about a lot of things, so I'll put timestamps over here. That way you can jump around in the video or come back to parts later. First things first, let's make sure you have enough space on your computer for the interview. We recommend having anywhere between five and 15 gigabytes free on your hard drive for the footage and the audio. You can check how much free space you have by going to Windows, Settings, System, storage, and checking how much space you have on your local disk. If you need to go clear some space, go into apps, features, or files, and delete some extra files or empty your trash. Once you have five and 15 gigabytes free, you're gonna move on. Next is the camera. Most people will be seeing you through your webcam, so let's just check out what that sees. You can do this by opening up Photo Booth in the applications or just clicking on Zoom if you have it. That way you have an idea of what the camera can see. Sweet. Now that we can see ourselves, let's start making adjustments. One of the best ways to improve our video is by raising the camera up to make it more flattering. This means if you have a laptop, put it on some books or a small stand. If you have a webcam, put it on top of the monitor. At least eye level or higher for maximum flattery. After this, a small thing you can do is make sure that there's not a giant window behind you. When we have a lot of light coming in behind us, the camera auto adjusts to make us just look like a dark mess. By facing the camera away from a big source of light like a window, it gives us a lot of natural light to work with. If you plan on hooking up a separate camera, I'm sure you already know how to use that thing. Just make sure to keep these settings in mind, that way you're always looking sharp when you're recording. If you have trouble connecting to your camera, make sure to download the camera's webcam software or get a capture card. Audio can really be the difference between a good and a great interview, which is why we strongly recommend that you wear headphones with a microphone on them. Earbuds are preferred, especially if they have a little microphone on the cable like these, um, but wireless earbuds work too, just make sure that they have a microphone on them. If you have a microphone that you can plug into your computer like this one, these go a long way as well. You can even purchase a small one like this or like this for not that much money, and it will save you a lot in the long run. One last tip for audio. You won't have to worry about this if you have headphones or earbuds, but if you want to hook up an extra mic like me, get as close as you can to the microphone without it covering your face. A good rule of thumb is one fist away. During the interview, don't forget to sit up straight and to dress nicely. Also, make sure to talk to the camera and not the screen. It will feel really weird during the interview, but I promise you'll come off way more professional doing it. Another quick note, make sure to wear clothes without complicated patterns on them. Sometimes webcams have a hard time reading them and they come out fuzzy like this. Just wear something neutral that looks nice. Your background is super important. Try not to put yourself up against a flat wall. If that's how your setup has to work, that's okay. But even nudging your camera a little bit to the left or the right goes a long way, adds a lot of depth and makes it a little bit more interesting. Just make sure that you don't have a bunch of junk behind you and you'll be good to go. Lighting. If you notice that your face is a little dark because it's later in the day, just throw a lamp on next to you. A little light goes a long way, so just put it in front of you, that way we can see your lovely face. If you have something heavier duty, that works too. Also, if your lamp is orange-ish, make sure to swap the bulb out with something that looks more white. It's more flattering during interviews, and you can get them for like nothing at Home Depot or a hardware store. Just make sure you look for daylight balance or bright white light bulbs. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just let us know and we'll help you out right away. Good luck with your interview and don't forget to wow them with your expertise and your personality. Thanks for watching.